Hey guys, welcome to this very quick and easy tutorial on how I have improved my AI content generator by about 100 times while reducing the cost. Let's jump into it. Now, as you may or may not know, Harbor SEO.ai right now is completely free to use. This is Harbor V2, which is what I'm calling it. And basically what Harbor V2 is, is it's a massive improvement on Harbor V1, where we can do some crazy things, including from now on, infographic generation so just as an example here this is the last infographic that was created absolutely stunning it's also branded right so it's a branded infographic this is the latest feature that i just added last night and it only took me about 20 minutes and i want to talk about how i'm actually doing this now the first thing to know is that i'm using open ai agents sdk and i'm using gpt for gpt5 nano right you need to get to grips with agents, guys. They are the thing that is just going to be absolutely crazy in 2026. Now, the main difference between Harbor V1 and Harbor V2 is the fact that Harbor V2 is completely agentic. It's also completely free until March. So feel free to go and sign up, harborseo.ai. The way it works is the core agent has the instruction to write an article, right? But then on top of that, it also has tools. So it has a genus scrape, it has a bright data scrape. Bright data is absolutely fantastic if you want to specifically be able to scrape certain pages that you can't scrape normally. That includes Facebook, that includes anything behind Cloudflare, et cetera, et cetera. So you can set this up extremely easily. Now the key thing, there's a link by the way in the description if you wanna try bright data. The key thing to know is that these are tools in the agent's arsenal that it can call whenever it feels like it. So instead of being a predefined workflow where it's like step one is this, step two is this, there is still this structure, but if step one doesn't work, right? Let's say it attempts to scrape iSuit. iSuit is behind, behind Cloudflare. It doesn't work on Gina. So how do we scrape it? Well, it comes and it says, okay, well, number one failed. Tool call number one failed. It gave back no images. What do we do? we try a bright data scrape instead. That is the main difference between V1 and V2 Harbor. This, I've, this flexibility and this ability to do something different to the predefined workflow. Now there is still a predefined workflow, obviously, like step one is find the sitemap. Step two is, you know, sort the URLs into things that are relevant to the keyword. Step three is et cetera, et cetera. But if one of them fails, it can go back and it can try something different. That's the main advantage of agents, right? They can think on their feet. Then tool number three is web search. If you don't know, OpenAI Agents SDK and also just the responses API, um, which is all, it's actually what Harbor uses. I'm, I'm not actually using the full on um, agent SDK because it just didn't really seem necessary. Instead, I'm using my own agent. Uh, that just has access to these tools, right? So web search right here, if you just copy this and put this directly into a terminal, right? It will actually do a web search for you. So just bear that in mind. You can give that ability to any AI. This is like perplexity on eight lines of code, right? Everyone goes crazy for perplexity, perplexity API. You can make your own perplexity in two minutes using these eight lines of code, right? And then... The one that I just added and the reason, the main reason I'm making this video is um, image generation inside the content generation. So while I was just talking, then it created another one, right? This one here, because I'm just testing right now. So what I'm trying to explain to you guys is just how simple and easy it is to add features like this to your agents. Once you've got that base content writing agent down, all you have to do is say, okay, now add a tool that allows the agent to create infographics. Bang, done. This is now live on the website. Anyone that goes and generates an article now will be greeted with this new feature. This took me under an hour to add this feature. If I, try, if I had tried to add this to Harbor V1, it would have taken me, I, I don't even want to know how long it would have taken me, right? And then basically all you do is just keep adding tools. So like my next tool might be something new, I don't know what, don't have anything in my head right now. All you're doing is adding more and more tools to the core agent, but the core agent is just a prompt that says write an article using these tools, you have access to all of these tools. All an agent really is, is 
it's a it's a prompt and then inside the prompt you just say okay you have access to tool number one which is web search tool number two which is gina scrape tool number three which is bright data scrape tool number four which is nano banana image generation right and like i was talking about yesterday you can either use tools normally or you can actually use npm js.com so i was just thinking about something yesterday i think gemini should be here uh, it's called gen ai isn't it yeah gen ai is right here so if you wanted to add any kind of oh no sorry it's this one if you wanted to add any kind of image generation or anything to a project all you have to do is add one of these tools right super super easy super super simple there's loads of information here on this page this is all your ai agents need information wise to create literally anything so yeah main things to note guys harbor seo.ai now has um uh, infographic generation so you can see here bang look at that i don't know where that's where it's come from bang right in the middle of the article beautiful this should be good for seo as well let's just save the image let's see if that worked now it's still got these numbers but that's fine i would recommend downloading the image and changing the image name just so you know guys i'm gonna leave the video there i just want to talk about this quickly and how agents are changing the game for me personally and how they can for you too you can automate literally anything with this process if you're interested in having ai agents built for yourselves or for others or if you want an mvp with an of a SaaS with an ai agent inside Come and talk to us today, incomestreamsurfer.com. I just made this website quickly yesterday just to put everything in one place. Uh, you can book a call with us. You can talk to us. We can either create AI agents for you or an MVP for a SaaS with AI agents inside. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very soon with some more content. Peace out.